just got through going through this colony and talked to Mike this morning and we were talking he was asking me he said I've got two colonies that are doing good but not booming he said I've got one that's just loaded with brood wouldn't know what he should do he didn't know if he need to pull frames out of the strong colony give to the other two or add another box to the other one well looking at the weather it's February 21st looking at our weather for the next 10 days the lowest day we're going to have is 34 degrees all the rest of them lows in the 40s well this colony has a deep and a medium medium still full of honey the deep has four or five frames just loaded with brood I'll pull one or two and show you but I'm not gonna keep the hive open long because I've already had it open and inspected it just to see so let me get the area here cleaned up so I can just set the honey super off and we can go through this real quick So the bees are up in the honey super working it and I'm not going to take a lot of time but I'm just going to pull maybe one two frames show you what we got and talk you through this because what I'm saying you guys are I'm sure the queen's not moved to this frame yep there she is I'll let you see the queen too Right there, see all that brood? The other side has already started hatching out. I'm gonna get this frame back in the colony real quick because I don't want to lose mama. I'll pull this next one. This one is already sporadically hatched out and I don't know how well you can see, but she's went back and relayed in all those cells. Said, I'm not gonna keep this out for long. But the most important thing I need to tell you is old hands know this, young hands do not. Well, first I'm gonna keep this honey right on top of that brood chamber. I'm gonna add this extra box to the top. because we will have some more cold nights. So they've got room to go up and clean up and get ready. But the thing about it is that one frame that's kept on both sides is basically when it hatches out two and a half to three frames of adult bees covering brood. So with four frames, you're basically gonna have 12 frames of bees. So you'll have plenty to cover these and plenty to cover these if they decide to pull her up here. I'll come back in a week, see how this is done. If they're overcrowded, then I'll move this underneath. And then I might go find a frame. I've got a box over there. It's got about three frames of partial honey. Put one frame of honey in this and move it down below the super. That way they have honey and they don't have to go all the way up in case we do get a cold snap three or four days because it doesn't take very long. Day and a half, two days away from honey for the colony to starve out. But that's the, the big point I wanted to make is one frame of cat brood, both sides, is basically two and a half to three frames of bees on brood. Got orientation flights going, going on next door. So you need to take that into account because if I just left this like it was and come back in two weeks this colony would already be going hey there's too many of us we don't have enough room I know it's early February or late February quite early but when you have that much cat brood it's gonna go explode and I do not want them swarming that's just early season this will be a nuke going down the road may end up being a honey hive you never know it's just the point of I don't want to lose any swarms and early season swarms are the ones you want to catch and I want to catch those out there in the feral world and protect my own thanks for watching woolly bees like subscribe enjoy pass them around Mike this one was for you buddy